New Hampshire, Michigan, Wisconsin. Matt Keck examines his shipping orders for the day. Kansas and Illinois. He rattles off half a dozen different states he's sending wine to, each one with different tax laws. There's something like 10 or 15,000 laws and regulations that uh, you have to adhere to when you're shipping to all of these states. This year, the Supreme Court sowed confusion in a decision allowing each state to start collecting sales tax from internet transactions, wine or otherwise. Small business owners faced with the daunting task of keeping up with 50 states worth of laws need only look to Prairie Berry Winery to rest easy. We've been uh, successfully shipping uh, to other states for 15 plus years. In fact, Keck says the way states solved the problems of shipping alcohol years ago laid the groundwork for the law that would eventually allow states to tax online retailers. We submit annually tens of thousands of dollars of sales and excise tax to you know, these other states. Um, so that's, and we've been doing that, like I said, for, for years. Governor Dennis Dugard says newly developed software will allow retailers to automatically calculate the right amount of tax for each state and charge it to the customer. Keck says the wine industry is already doing that. For the, at least the last 10 years, uh, there's software that runs in the background of every transaction. The software that we use is specific to the wine industry, but it's, you know, it certainly is readily available to all of the other industries and it has been for 10 years. Eliminating the need for a file for each state. In Hill City, Nick Reagan, Coda Territory News.